Hello, everyone. I hope that you're having a good day. I would like to talk to you about a missing 17 year old. This is from Loosedale Police Department. They put out that there was a, um, to please keep an eye out for a missing 17 year old who goes by cadence. She is five foot seven, 130 pounds, blue eyes, blonde hair, possibly wearing black leggings and a black hoodie, last seen in the city limits of Loosedale possibly headed towards Louisiana. If you have any information regarding her whereabouts, please contact Loosedale Police Department at 601-947-3261 immediately. And I will show you some of the photos they have. This is the one without makeup, so that might help more than anything possibly. She's very pretty. Um, and then I'm also going to take you guys over to a TikTok that her mom had shared as well. I'm not going to be able to turn the volume on it because it has a song playing, but it goes through a couple of photos on there. So this is the TikTok. It says, this is my daughter, Cadence. She is missing from Loosedale. Mississippi, and I believe that she is somewhere in Louisiana just trying to bring her home. And then I'm going to take you over to her mom's page on Facebook. And I'll show you some of her posts that she's been putting up because right now, unfortunately, we don't have any other articles to go by. Um, she had shared the Loosedale Police Department post and said, my heart breaks. Please, if anyone knows where my daughter is, contact me. And she put her phone number. It can be anonymous. I don't care. I just want my daughter found safe. She is believed to be back in Louisiana, but no one has seen her so far. And I'm so beyond frantic. Baby girl, if you're reading this somehow and can't get home or away from somebody, your phone will call 911 without service. Mama is not giving up. I love you with every fiber of my being. You are my world. Just need you to be okay. And then she also put up um, three days ago, feeling scared. My daughter Cadence is still missing. It's been two days now. Please, if anyone has heard from her or knows where she is, contact me immediately. My car is broken down. I can't go search for her. So if anyone can help, I'd really appreciate it. Please, I'm begging you. I'm heartbroken and believe my daughter is in danger. And I will show you these photos. That's um, her and her mother. She's on the right. All right, and then I'm gonna have to scroll back. Um, okay. So then she had shared this. It had said, it was from 2019, Love My Baby Girl and the song is just awesome. Just us messing around on Snapchat the other night. And I can't play the song, unfortunately. So a video of them two together, being adorable. And this one reads, um, miss my baby, just want her home safe, three days ago. Aww. And then she had posted after that and stated, I got a call from the Loosedale Police Department telling me that they have not and will not search for my missing daughter. The man was very rude and had a complete lack of compassion for me and my daughter. He asked, what do you want me to do? I'm like, how about do your damn job? I bet if it was his child or one of their cops children missing, they would have search parties out looking. My daughter may not matter to them, but she damn well matters to me and a lot of people. And this is disgusting. 
And then she shared out his information, which I, I'm not going to stay on that, but this is, you know, proof that they had spoken for six minutes. Um, and people had asked, um, are they treating it like she's an adult since she's 17? Because either way, she's a missing person, but still a minor. And if they know the depth of her issues, then double shame on them. And she said, they're saying or doing, they're saying or doing shit. And she's not a legal adult until she's 18, but they just straight up don't care. Not sure they even thought about her age, but probably so. Apparently, according to some people around, they have a history of not looking for teens. They said, well, she's not here, so why would we look? Um, you don't know that, but still, they should be looking. I don't care what they think they know about my daughter. She doesn't deserve to be treated like she doesn't matter because she does, damn it. And um, people saying they understand her pain. She said she has posted um, on so many... And the cops aren't doing anything in Mississippi, anything in Mississippi, but I don't believe that she's there. So I guess it's whatever, but not knowing where she is, is brutal. Just hoping that she comes home. Um, someone said, why are they not wanting to search for her? She said, they said, because she's not from there and that they don't think she's in Mississippi. So what was the point? It says that LaForge um, has been looking for her in case she came home, and I didn't have to beg them to do that. They need to do their due, due diligence and their job. This isn't some joke. This is a missing child, my child. And then people telling her to contact news stations, governor's office. Um, and, and then to so drive around and she said, I have a broken down car and I can't afford a shop or else I would have been there from day one. I'm going to hold them accountable and I'm doing my best to get as many people involved to find her. And then she changed her profile picture. And then she also put up 12 hours ago. My daughter Cadence is still missing. She's 17. She's been missing from... Loosedale, Mississippi since October 11th, 2022, and I think that she's in South Louisiana. I'm trying my best to respond to everyone's messages and comments, but it's difficult with so many. Please call me if you know where she is, or if you have any information, please call or text her phone number or DM only. Please do not leave a comment with information as it could be missed and could hinder me finding her. Also, if anyone could possibly help with my car that's broken down, I know I've asked before, but trying again. I need it running at number one so I can go look for my daughter. If anyone can help with that, it could make a real difference, and I would be grateful. This is my child missing, and until you've gone through that, you can't even begin to imagine how gut-wrenching this is for me. I'm losing my mind and just asking for some compassion and kindness. Anyone who knows me knows I'm a good person and mama, not without fault, but please just be kind. I'm doing my best. Thank you to all who have been kind, loving, and supportive. It means more than you know. Please help me bring my daughter home. And I'll show you the photos. I think that's back at the beginning. And um, I think that's the one we just read, yeah. Pretty sure. And then this was the one that was connected to that TikTok. And it stated, if you have TikTok, please share or any of my posts on here or Instagram. Thank you so much. The power of social media is strong. Please help find my daughter. As stated, she's missing from Mississippi, but I believe she's in, in in Louisiana, she's 5'10", 160 pounds. So the weight changed. Um, it originally said 130, but just keep that in mind. Um, with long platinum blonde hair, with dark roots, blue eyes, nose piercings, several ear piercings. She suffers from mental illness. It could be in danger. She has multiple scarring on both arms. She always wears hoodies and leggings and prefers dark clothes. Her phone is Wi-Fi only and she 
does not have a car. Cops aren't helping in Mississippi. This is very serious. She needs to be located ASAP so I could safely get her home. Please contact me ASAP if you see her or know where she is. Thank you all. And I have posted her up on my community wall as well. Just so um, you guys all know, here is another picture of her once more. And like I said, there's a post on the community wall that's from the police. So um, I'll keep you guys updated if I hear anything else, if anything does get put out um, in a news article or on a news station, or if they the mom updates and says she gets located, um, I'll give you guys the update. I appreciate you guys listening. I hope that you're all having an awesome night or day, depending where you are. Take care, everybody. I'll talk to you soon.